Assalamualaikum everyone. This is uh, the English session for Friday, grade six. Okay, this is the page number twenty-nine of your course book. As you know, that adjectives are the words which qualifies noun, which say something about the noun. Okay. Now we are doing the exercise F. Some adjectives lost their meaning and impact due to overuse. Find synonyms for these commonly used adjectives and write them down. Okay, for nice you can use agreeable. You can uh, we can use uh, appealing, delicious. The second one is good, and for the good we can use enjoyable, fine, virtuous, worthy, useful, or suitable. Funny uh, for bad we can use wicked, terrible, damaging, serious, mischievous, rotten. For the funny we can use amusing, comical, odd, strange. For the fifth one, reality, really we can use a synonym: truly, actually, certainly. Now, in Exercise G. Write down four adjectives to describe each of the following nouns. Sunrise: a glorious sunrise, a marvelous sunrise, a beautiful sunrise, a frog, a green frog, a, a skinny frog, a, a jumping frog. So a diver, a diver could be the skilled driver, the professional driver, a diver. It's not driver, sorry, it's diver, a professional diver. Uh, then king, and we can use the adjectives like generous king, kind king, honest king, a merciful king. The five. The pineapple, it can be yellow pineapple, it can be a juicy pineapple, it can be a tasty pineapple. Now you have to do this H is in your homework, that is write a sentence for each of these pair of adjectives. One example is done for you. Enormous and pink, an enormous pink balloon flew past the window. White and fluffy, I can see white and fluffy uh, clouds floating. White and white, uh, floating in the sky. Then we have tiny and stumping, fresh, colorful, lovely and happy. I can see the lovely and happy faces of children playing in the garden, relieved and hopeful. The doctor were hopeful and relieved after the surgery of the patient. So you have to use these two words in a single sentence. Now we are doing the work of activity book. Now the first one is Chinese Cinderella. Now is still now that we are using the adjectives which are used uh, which are for the physical appearance. A new Scottish family has moved into the house next two hours. The father has a uh, black curly father has a curly reddish hair and he wears uh, gold rimmed glasses the mother is very beautiful with long blonde hair she wears very fashionable clothes and high heel shoes there is a teenage boy with spiky hair and a small silver earring and a cute little girl who is always dressed in uh, bright colors. They also have a black cat that wears a shiny bell around its neck. The adjectives in the box describe sounds. Now we are doing about uh, we are doing the adjectives in sound. On the bus, everyone was talking at the same time. It was very noisy. The loud chattering of uh, excited children filled the air. It was difficult to hear what my father, mother was saying as she has a very soft voice. When we arrived at the school, everyone became excited. We went into hall for the concert. As I had a sore throat, I was too forced to sing. 
instead my friend apya sang in her beautiful uh, in her beautiful uh, clear voice the audience remained completely silent while she performed afterwards the applause was so enthusiastic that it was almost deafening now we are moving to another page that is page number yes now we are using uh, the adjectives that is telling us about the feeling most of the children were very uh, very excited about the school sport day some of the children who were not very good at sports felt a bit anxious Tom was extremely happy when he won his race, and his father felt very proud of him. Joy, who came second in the race, was a little envious of envious of Tom. Pampers said because her dad couldn't come, but she remained cheerful for her friend. After all, running and jumping, the children were thirsty. So they all had some lemonade. Now, in a section D, the adjectives in the box describes person's character. Fill in each blank in passage with a suitable adjective from the box. Lisa was shy, quiet girl. Her friend Rose was very funny and always made her laugh. Rose was also a loyal friend. When some uh, naughty girls stole Lisa's phone, Rose stood up to them and made them give Lisa's phone back to her. Lisa was glad to have such a kind friend. Okay, now students, that's all for today. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.